been a couple of days already. And in that couple of days, i um, got some new game pickups. Strictly games this time. Uh, uh, a lot of these came from the internet. Some came from my friend. One was a gift. Uh, I'll explain them as we go. So let's start off. This is a Christmas present. It's going to get wrapped in under the tree. I just know about it because we're, we, we're not fun like that. There's no surprise for Christmas. It starts in November and ends in January or something for us. Dragon's Lair. I love this game. I was just playing through the trilogy on the Nintendo Wii, which is really good, by the way. Uh, and so we got to pick up this game, and it's in superb condition as far as the discs. These cases are always trash when you get them. It's really hard to get the Sega Saturn, the old school PS1, any of the long box in good condition. All right. Uh, okay, I'll talk about this next one. Um, at Games put out the gopher recently and I told you guys how much I wanted to get one of those uh, but I got a gift uh, from my girlfriend that's uh, kind of like that but I'm more of a console gamer than a handheld gamer I like handhelds but I like consoles more and I got this today which is so cool it's the Genesis Arcade Motion and just like uh, the fire or the gopher it uses fire core technology to run its games and this has 40 games on it you're looking at 16 official Sega games uh, 7 interactive sports games and 18 bonus arcade games and SD wireless so you can add more games they got some homebrew games right over at their website you can go to it's the MUGA website you can download homebrews there's um, other homebrews you can get plus you can download the bins of the Genesis games and put them right on your console so this is really cool I can't wait to try it out and show you guys uh, maybe a console review later on this so let's keep going um, I've wanted one of these for a long time because my end labels are getting ruined and I got this uh, from my girlfriend this is uh, we got this from our friend for 50 bucks and a stack of games. There's going to be like six or seven games I'm not showing you because I'm selling them on eBay as we speak. Uh, all games I have or didn't want. So check that out. Uh, so this is really cool. The only disadvantage I see is RF only. But I checked it out. It's not bothering me too much. It's not too fuzzy. I got it on an old TV. Other than that, this is the way to go. You don't mess up your labels. I'll probably still use my NES on some games because it has the AV. The games I decided to keep are Rampage. Don't have this one yet. Super Pitfall. Robo Warrior. I'm trying to decide if I like this game or not. Ghostbusters. We played this last night and had a blast. This was one I was going to sell until I was testing it and decided to keep it. Win, lose, or draw like a charades game. It was a fun party game. Uh, Venture Island. Cool game. It's just like Wonder Boy 1. Um, Alpha Mission. I got this at a thrift store for 50 cents. Hoops. Came with the uh, top loader stuff. Uh, Back to the Future 2. So, and I showed that Alpha Mission in the last video. I believe. So, let's do last but not least, we have here my girlfriend's. I got her this. It's a Nintendo Famicom. It has the AV in the back, so that's really cool. Um, in there we have 133 games in one. One of those bootleg cards, and it's seven games repeated 133 times. But they're all Nintendo games like Popeye and whatnot. And. I got her some games to go with it. Um, I think this is a Gundam game. And so is this one. Like 2 and 4 or something. Final Fantasy 2. Awesome. Uh, Kari Warriors, I think. Uh, Arctic Adventure. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it's already Konami in Japan, I thought that was interesting, it was Ultra on America, in America, Flip Pool, 
have no idea, but it's fun. Rockman 4, awesome uh, orange cart, and that's ghosts and goblins, or ghouls and ghosts, or you know, it's the first one for the NES. Good. And that about wraps it up, uh, new game pickups for this, uh, we're still in week two here. Um, so until next week guys, uh, I'll see you at the later, stuckinthe90s.webs.com.